So it is a great virtue. It is actually a, a tremendous step in our evolution, actually, to be able to be in a room by ourselves and be perfectly happy. That is no small accomplishment, nor should it be diminished. It's a very, it's an amazing thing to realize that to be at peace with yourself. Maybe experience just being as a great and mysterious joy. That is a, quite an accomplishment. But still, most of our lives, for most of us, are lived out in relationship, right? As I say, with people, places, or things. And this is where, of course, we, there's all, each of those moments are moments of reckoning. What am I, what am I manifesting in this moment of relationship? Am I manifesting the deepest things that I know? Am I, am I actually living them out? And it, if I am great, if I'm not, what am I living out? What old belief pattern or resentment or what am I living out? Where, where am I specifically and exactly when I'm living from my, the deeper part of my being? See, so even when people have had certain degree of realization experience, they're still baffled by the fundamental mystery of and challenge of living from great depth. Why is it when I go into relationship or we go into relationship that things start to fall apart sometimes? Not all the time, but sometimes. Why is it that I seem to just almost instinctually move away from my deeper nature into something else, something more protective, something more aggressive, something more submissive, whatever it is. See, the same, the same mystery can present itself even when your, your essential experience may be that there's a, there's a well-being that never goes anywhere. That's part of the proof of deep experience of realization. It's not that you never have a challenging experience or emotion. It's that they all happen within this space of absolute okayness. Another paradox, right? That conflict can happen within a psychological space of peace. Now there's a paradox for you. One teacher I went to when I was young said, the you who's okay even when you're not okay. A good part of spirituality is actually discovering that. So, you, so that you, you become your own resource for peace and well-being. But even when you've found that, and even when you know you can be and are your own fundamental resource, you'll still feel challenged at times, will you not? You'll still be living out the paradox of living out the deeper parts of your own realization. As far as I can see, on a human level, on the becoming level, because that's the that's the part of reality that's in a constant state of becoming. In the absolute view of it, it there's no becoming. It is sufficient, complete, whole, total, blissful, all of that. On the human level, human being is nothing but a process of becoming from the time you're born. And we're either moving toward or into our deepest understandings, whatever that might be, we're either manifesting them or we're moving 
toward and manifesting something else. And that's the human journey. And that's the beautiful part of it.